Hey guys, Twin to Soulful. Uh, right here at my pop-up camper here. Um, having some problems with the cables inside, I believe. Uh, lowering and raising it. This corner here, let me walk around to it real quick. This corner won't do anything, raise or lower. I believe it's going to be a problem with the cabling. Um, so, uh, we're going to see if we can go and repair that. I just got it uh, propped up there on my jack just to have it raised up real nicely. Got me a extra piece of wood there. Um, I'm gonna take you inside and let you see the cabling and uh, what happened to it. All right, so I'm right here at this uh, four-way cable here. Right there in the corner is my crank where I crank up the uh, whole pop-up camper. Right here, hopefully you guys can see it. The eye bolt right here. This one uh, popped off here. This eye bolt was the one that was doing this corner. Luckily for me, the cable wasn't uh, broke or anything, so um, I still got the cable there for it. Uh, but I don't know why they're using these cheap hardware like this. I mean, this one right here, hopefully you guys can see it. Let me zoom into it real quick. Um, it's already peeling back right there, and that's uh, for another corner. Right there, you see the rest of them look pretty good, but I'm gonna have to bend that back closed. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go and replace that one that's completely broke off because uh, it's going to be getting weaker as I'm bending it closed and I don't want to take no chances with it. Um, yeah, thank God the cable wasn't broke right there. That would have been a real pain to replace. Um, and not to mention, I don't have the tools to uh, get it. I mean, I could get the tools to uh, fix uh, the cable, you know, if I had to. But luckily for me, it was a really easy repair. Um, but yeah, if I were you guys, if you have a problem with your uh, pop-up camper not closing properly or raising or anything, check your cables. More than likely, that's going to be your problem. You see this one just uh, popped off the eye bolt, the tensioner here. This is actually what this is. This is a uh, universal tensioner here. Tension all four of your uh, corners there. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know why they're using such cheap hard work for this stuff, guys. Don't personally like eye bolts because of the uh, gap there. Let me uh, fix my camera up real quick. Um, but, you know, that's what they chose to use. I'm just going to replace it. Hopefully, I can get some uh, stronger eye bolts. Um, get all this at your hardware store. Not a big deal. Uh, this one, going to bend close. Um, I hate bending it, but uh, yeah, I think it'll be good for a little time longer. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just get replacement uh, bolts for all these. Get four or five extra. So, let's go ahead and bend that one back in place. All right, so let's go ahead and bend that one back in place. Hopefully, I can do it without causing any further damage to it. Let's see, it'll be better if I do it like that. If I can, this thing's pretty, pretty tight in here. Oh shoot! I don't know, guys. I might not be able to do that. Um, ah. I may have bent back a little bit. I'm going to do a little bit more bending on see if I get it uh, closed anymore. Alright, so I got that one uh, bent back completely. What I'm going to do is uh, when I get my new eye bolt, I'm just going to bend it back a little. The uh, part where it closes over, heat it up and bend it back a little. And then just slip my uh, cable, cabling over it and re-bend it. Um, I could do it with this one here, but uh, I'm not going to because it looks pretty weak as it is. So I'm just going to go and replace uh, that and get a few extra eye bolts for this. I uh, went ahead and uh, got my eye bolt put in here and uh, replaced it real nice and securely. Got my cable on it so uh, everything's good. I got some of this uh, quick steel right here. Reinforced epoxy putty. That's what I'm using on it just to seal the little uh, gap here in the eye bolt. Let's see, hopefully you guys can see it right there. Um, I went ahead and put on three of them already. Is, uh, doing pretty good so I'm going to go ahead and do this uh, third one here and then we'll be set up with it. So this is the uh, quick steel epoxy uh, putty here. You got to mix up the two colors. You see you got a light gray and a dark gray. You just got to thoroughly mix it all the way up until you got uh, one solid color. So just mix it up real good. I'm just using my fingers here. It's almost there. Do a little bit more mixing here. There we go. So you see it's uh, now one solid color. You don't have light grays and uh, 
dark grays in it. So let's go ahead and apply it here on my eye bolt. Uh, hopefully this stuff will work good. This is the first time using it. It says it uh, hardens like steel and uh, a lot of other good stuff about it. They say it could be um, see drilled, tapped, filed, machine, sanded, painted. So uh, you could do a lot with this stuff. So I'm going to give it a shot on here. I mean, it doesn't hurt to put it on here. So, <clears throat> like I said, first time using it. So I'm pretty sure it will do good. Paid enough for it. I think it was like $6. <clears throat> Excuse me for a tube of this stuff. So pretty much you just uh put it on your eye eye bolt there real good. So anyways I'm gonna finish that up then I'll show you the final uh finished product here. Alright so there's the putty all uh over the little crack in the eye bolt so I believe it'll do good. It's actually hardening up pretty good right now. This uh quick still here let me show you the package of it. It looks like some pretty good stuff here. Hang on let me adjust my camera. So uh, here it is. It's drinking water, safe as you see. Uh, sets in five minutes, cures in one hour. It's up to uh, 500 degrees Fahrenheit, 90 below zero. Um, yeah, I believe it'll do good. So it says uh, right here, hardens like steel, makes permanent repairs on PVC, CPVC, plastic, fiberglass, glass, ceramic, metal, and wood, and more. So uh, this stuff's pretty cool too. Bonds like epoxy sets up underwater. So if you're having to do this in a wet environment or even underwater, I believe it'll do good. This isn't underwater, obviously, but um, I believe it'll do good for these bolts. So, all right, guys, that's the uh, final video of the uh, camper cable uh, repair. So, got any questions? Feel free to leave in comments. Thank you all for watching.